Hey guys, Lizard Lee here for a not cross stitch video. Sorry. If you got excited, I, I don't know why. It doesn't say floss tube in the title, so. My bad. Uh, we have officially moved into the new house, but as you can probably already see from the TV mount that does not have a TV on it, we still have a lot of stuff to do. Like, we're not fully moved in yet. There's boxes and bins just everywhere <laughs> I, and I, I do want to cross stitch like I have not given up by any means I am still dying to work on four heavenly beasts but I want to I want to wait until we're fully settled and that probably won't be until after the wedding which is in September by the way I don't remember if I've told you guys that or not but I'm getting married in less than two months oh god so, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be busy between just getting the house into a home. I don't know a better way to say that, but, you know, and getting ready for the wedding and then the honeymoon. And just this year has flown by. Um... So yes, I do want to cross stitch. I won't lie, I don't really want to cross stitch the Star Wars one. <laughs> I don't think anyone has been super excited about that one. But also, I like I, I absolutely know I was going really slow on it, and it's just because I'm just not passionate about it the way I am for Heavenly Beasts. So I should probably start with the Star Wars one just to get myself back into the groove and determine if this is the actual setup I want to use when I'm cross-stitching. But I'm way more excited about Four Heavenly Beasts. There is a bug on the wall. One second, I have to, I have to, I have to kill this thing. Don't mind me. <laughs> there. We just had the, uh, pesticides, no. The exterminators. That's the word I'm looking for. We have the exterminators because with new construction going on everywhere, there are bugs everywhere. It just makes sense. We also have to change our air filters every 30 days because of all the dirt and the dust everywhere. So it's just a lot of work. Anyways, I'm going to be cross stitching eventually again. I'm, I'm shooting for probably October, November. If I'm honest, sorry, I have to be honest. Um, I do have a puzzle that if I can find it, I can continue working on. I was listening to uh, Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson while I worked on it, and I'm very excited to continue that book. So we'll see. It might actually be a puzzle video before we get a cross-stitch video. Better than nothing? <laughs> um, I do have to be honest it's not all all business and work for me I have been playing a bunch of video games I just recently started playing Persona 5 and I'm loving it <laughs> if you have played it Ryuji is the best girl <laughs> and he is not a girl but I wish I could date him <laughs> oh I like the the joke with David and our friend Mark is I'm like can we go to school because in the game you go to school and you try to make friends you know you try to do well in school and it's great but you also meet honestly evil people and you try to change their hearts and make them into better people or at least people who feel bad about being bad and therefore become better people. And I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm constantly just like messaging DJ and Mark and I'm like, can we go to school? Is it time to go to school? <laughs> and I like it so much that I've officially changed my friend Mark's uh, ringtone to be <laughs> something from Persona 5. So if you've played Persona 5, you should recognize this. I like it, and I, I told him to call me yesterday, but he, he couldn't get 
service in our house, so I just played it for him, and he was like, <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> um, I've also really gotten into Tetris Effect, which is so much fun. I remember playing Tetris as a kid, and I, I didn't love it, but I also didn't hate it. Like, it, it was something to pass the time, but Tetris Effect is so much fun. And it it's really pretty. It has great music. Like, if you like Tetris, you should definitely give Tetris Effect a chance. Because it also has normal old school Tetris on it. So, at the very least, you get that. <laughs> but there's a mode. Oh, what is it called? Of course, I can't remember what it's called right now. Anyways, I play it on the Switch, which we have hooked up to a TV. So, like, you can pretend this is the TV I'm using, right? I'm over there watching it. There's one where sometimes it will randomly flip the screen. And, um... That is really difficult for me. So I just get off of the chair and I lay down and I look up at the TV <laughs> and then it's right side up and my controls work exactly as they should. I'm just saying, like if I put it on the normal just switch itself, I would just pause it and just flip it. So I'm just saying, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> um, I started Banjo and Kazooie which I was having a ton of fun with, but I eventually started getting really frustrated with it. Like it, it requires a lot of precision at times, which I used to be really good at. Like I used to be amazing at platformers. And now I'm like, it's hit or miss now. <laughs> like sometimes I can jump and get onto the one little pillar there. And sometimes I don't jump far enough or I jump too far and yeah. Um, I'm playing games. What else? I want to get back into D&D &D with my group. Oh! Oh! It is not set in stone yet, but one thing I want to do for my bachelorette party is a D&D &D game, which I would DM. And <laughs> it's gonna sound stupid, and you know, whatever, it's fine, you can make fun of me. It hasn't happened as of yet. So I might not actually do this. But I was thinking it could be like a mystery kind of thing at a wedding. And the people getting married are Darvid and Elizabeth. <laughs> Which, for anyone that is new and thinks that sounds stupid, I am Elizabeth and my future husband is David. So it could just be a funny thing to make all my bridesmaids laugh and giggle. And then I was like, oh yeah, you know, like, I could completely change them, you know, like, Elizabeth could be nothing like me, and they could all be, you know, kind of confused about it. And that could be the mystery of like, oh yeah, Elizabeth is acting really weird lately, or, you know, like, just anything, I don't know. Elizabeth has gone missing, and you have to go search for her. <laughs> One thing David threw out there was something like Majora's Mask, where it's a, it's a time loop, so I was like, ooh, you know, like I could come up with a bunch of side quests and, you know, once they solve one, they rest. Hey, it's that day again, you know, and I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm just throwing stuff around at this point. Honestly, it may not even happen. The only people I know of for sure that know how to play D&D &D and would enjoy it no matter what, two people. And, uh, that's my Darvid right there. He sent me a YouTube video. I will watch that later. <laughs> um, and I'm just worried, you know, like, I, I don't want the people who've never played D&D &D before to feel left out or confused or upset about it. And, like, I, I don't, I, I think it actually will be better because we're all girls. It'll be less embarrassing to try and, like, role play. But also, like, I do stupid voices, and I get into character, and I, I'm stupid. So that might make others feel more comfortable role-playing. I don't know. We'll see. I still want to do an escape room. 
I definitely want to do an escape room. I did one with my friends, and we did not win. And I'm still bitter about it. <laughs> I won with my coworkers. Like, granted, we're all accountants, so I don't know. Maybe we all have more of an analytical mind. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm rambling. Sorry, I ramble a lot. I don't know what else to talk about. Uh, yeah, I just... Uh, there's a wedding coming up. It's, it's gonna be crazy. I never, never want to go back to doing one video a week ever again. That was so stressful. Like, there's a chance it'll happen every once in a while, but I don't, I don't see myself ever doing that permanently unless I am retired and then that can be my job. Because when I also have a 40 hour job every week, it's, it's too much, it's too much. I'm also taking a uh, internal auditors class, so hopefully I'll be certified on that soon. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna call it, because probably no one cares. If you've listened this long, thank you, you know? Uh, let me know what project you're most excited for me to get back to. <laughs> like, subscribe, share, comment, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which, yeah, probably won't be until November-ish. Bye!